Hello everyone and welcome back to Monsters of the Past. As always, I'm your host Mr. G, and today we're talking about the giant giant tortoise, Megalocellis. Megalocellis means big turtle and it was a member of the tortoise family. It was a herbivore and it lived from the Miocene to the early Pleistocene. So far its remains have been found in India and Pakistan, although there are claims of its remains being found in Indonesia, but since those aren't confirmed, it didn't include it in the list. So, yeah. At 9 feet long and 6 feet tall, Megalocellis was both the biggest tortoise to have ever lived and one of the biggest turtles in general, only being beaten out by some aquatic species. Appearance-wise, Megalocellis would have resembled an upscaled version of the Galapagos giant tortoise, and it most likely behaved similarly to it as well, being a slow-moving herbivore. However, unlike the Galapagos tortoise, which had no predators before humans came along, Megalocellis had to deal with cats and dogs as predators, and as such, it probably had a very hard shell in order to defend itself from these mammalian predators. Megalocellis went extinct sometime after humans first entered India. Normally, I would move on to the card at this point. However, because this is the only turtle they talk about in this series, and there are several other notable extinct turtles, I would like to highlight them really quickly before we move on to the card. Firstly, there's the giant sea turtle Archelin, which was the biggest turtle to have ever lived. There is the giant carnivorous turtle Carbonemus, which lived alongside the world's biggest snake. There is the Australian horned tortoise Meulania. And finally, there were several reptiles that due to convergent evolution ended up looking like turtles despite belonging to different families, such as Sufoderma and Henodis, both of which were actually an extinct group of reptiles called Placoderms and were not turtles. Now that we got all that out of the way, let's look at the card. Okay, it's clear they did things, some things here just to make it look scarier. First of all, they gave it claws, which there's no evidence that it had. Secondly, its serrated beak, which is what turtles have instead of teeth, looks oddly sinister, like shark teeth. I don't know why they decided to do that. It's, I guess they were just trying to make it scarier. But the big problem here is the name. This card refers to it by its old name, a Colossal Chellies, which is no longer a valid name. So because of the outdated name and the aspects trying to look too scary, I give this card a 5 out of 10. Normally, this is where I would talk about Megalocelli's appearances in pop culture, but... The only appearance I could find in Megalocelli's was its cameo in The Land Before Time, where it's erroneously placed during the age of the dinosaurs and portrayed as a carnivore. So yeah, the only appearance of this thing, and it was inaccurate. Lovely. So, how about we talk about other appearances of extinct turtles? The video game Ark Survival Evolve features the turtle Carbonemus, where it's portrayed as a herbivore rather than a carnivore. The mobile game Jurassic Park Builder features the turtle Archelin, as well as the placoderm-like turtles Pseudoferma and Henodis. And the Ice Age section also features the turtle Meolania. Archelin returns in Jurassic World the game, and so does the other extinct turtle Protostega. Archelin also appears in the Game Boy Advance game Jurassic Park 3 Park Builder, and in the Ray Harryhausen film 1 Million BC. Meolania appears as an adoptable animal in Zoo Tycoon. And finally, Archelin appears in Land Before Time Journey to the Mist. That's all for this episode of Monsters of the Past. Join me next time when I talk about the saber-toothed kangaroo. Bye!